Hey everyone, welcome back to Love Listens Lounge. We're all about keeping it real, raw and relatable when it comes to love and relationships. Sometimes, figuring out if your boo is feeding you a line or two, or ten. So grab your detective hats and get ready for some serious truth tea. Today, we're diving into the top ten lies cheating men tell. If you've ever been suspicious of your partner's behaviour, you're not alone. So let's get right into it. Okay, first up on our hit parade of lies is the classic I'm just friends with her. Oh honey, please. We've all heard this one before and let's be real, sometimes it's true. But if your intuition is tingling and telling you something's off, listen to it. Is he constantly texting her, making secret phone calls, hiding his phone like it's the holy grail when you walk in the room? Big yikes. Those are not the actions of a man who's just friends with someone. It's time to have a serious conversation about boundaries and expectations in your relationship. Remember, you deserve honesty and respect. Don't let him gaslight you into thinking you're imagining things. Trust your gut, sis. Next up, we have the age-old excuse, I was working late. Now I'm all for a strong work ethic, but come on. If your man is pulling all-nighters and his phone is glued to his hand, it might be time to investigate. Is his job really that demanding? Or is he working overtime on something else? Pay attention to the details. Does his story add up? Don't be afraid to ask questions and voice your concerns. A trustworthy partner will be transparent and understanding. Okay, this next one really grinds my gears. You're just being paranoid. Girl, let me tell you, there's a fine line between being paranoid and being perceptive. If you have a gut feeling that something's off, don't let him dismiss your feelings. Cheating men love to use this tactic to gaslight you into doubting your own instincts. They want you to second-guess yourself and feel crazy for even bringing it up. Don't fall for it. You know your relationship better than anyone. If his behaviour has changed, if he's being distant or secretive, speak up. Don't let him silence your voice or invalidate your concerns. Hold up, let me grab my tiny violin for this one. She's just a co-worker. Oh, really? Just a co-worker he's always texting, having lunch with and staying late with? Come on now. I'm not saying you should be suspicious of every female interaction your man has, but there's a difference between being friendly and being inappropriate. If he's constantly talking about this co-worker and downplaying their relationship, it's a red flag. Remember, actions speak louder than words. Pay attention to how he acts around her and how much time he spends with her outside of work. If it feels like he's prioritizing her over you, it's time to have a serious conversation. Okay, this one's a classic for a reason. I didn't get your message. In the age of smartphones and instant notifications, this excuse is about as believable as a unicorn sighting. Seriously, who doesn't check their phone for hours on end? If he's constantly missing your calls and texts, especially when you're apart, it's a major red flag. It shows a lack of effort and a disregard for your feelings. Communication is key in any relationship, and if he's not willing to put in the effort to stay connected, it's time to move on. You deserve someone who's present and attentive, not someone who's MIA when it matters most. Ah, the classic boys' night out excuse. Now I'm all for guys nights, but let's be real, they can be a breeding ground for bad decisions. If your man is suddenly Mr. Social Butterfly, hitting the town with his buddies every other night, it's natural to be a little suspicious. Is he really out with his friends? Or is he using it as a cover story for something else? Pay attention to his behavior when he gets home. Is he being evasive about where he was and who he was with? Does he smell like perfume that's definitely not yours? Trust your instincts, girl. If something feels off, it probably is. Overreacting or over his lies? Get ready to roll your eyes because this next one is a doozy. You're overreacting. Oh, I'm overreacting, am I? Sure, maybe you are. Or maybe he's just trying to shut down the conversation before you uncover his web of lies. Cheating men love to play the victim and act like you're the crazy one for having feelings. Don't let him gaslight you into thinking your concerns are invalid. You have every right to feel hurt, angry and betrayed. Remember, your feelings are valid and you deserve to be heard. 
Don't let him silence you or minimize your emotions. I love you, but... Yeah, but what? Okay, this one stings a little. I love you, but I'm not in love with you. Ouch. This is the classic line cheaters use when they want to have their cake and eat it too. They want to keep you around as a backup plan while they explore other options. Don't fall for it. True love is about commitment, passion, and a deep connection. If he's not feeling it anymore, then he needs to let you go so you can find someone who does. You deserve to be with someone who loves you wholeheartedly, not someone who's stringing you along. We were on a break. Really? Cue the Friends theme song because this one's a classic sitcom trope. We were on a break. This excuse is so overused, it's practically cliche. But let's be real. Taking a break doesn't give you a free pass to cheat. If you're on a break, you're working through your issues, not hooking up with other people. If he used that time to be with someone else, it's a clear sign that he wasn't committed to fixing your relationship. Don't let him rewrite history or minimize his actions. Cheating is cheating, regardless of your relationship status. It didn't mean anything, except it did. And last but not least, we have the ultimate cop-out. It didn't mean anything. Oh, really? So emotionally and physically connecting with another person means absolutely nothing to you? Please. This is the oldest trick in the book. Cheaters use this line to downplay their actions and avoid taking responsibility for the pain they've caused. Don't let them get away with it. Cheating is a choice, and it always means something. It means he broke your trust, disrespected your relationship, and hurt you deeply. Don't let him minimize his actions or make excuses for his behavior. What are your thoughts? Do you think your man should keep a female friend? Or would you let your partner become a social butterfly? Share your thoughts and feelings. Have you ever been on the receiving end of these lines? Let me know in the comments below. Remember, you deserve honesty, respect and fidelity in your relationships. Don't settle for anything less. And if you're ever in doubt, trust your gut. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Love Lessons Lounge for more real talk about love and relationships. Until next time, stay true to yourself and always follow your heart.